All right, well, they were trying to do good, but they broke the rules, and now they're going to be punished for it. A handful of Raiders players are being fined for not wearing masks or staying six feet apart during a fundraiser last week. And today, the league laid out just how much it's going to cost them. 8 Sports Now reporter Kevin e. Martin breaking down the numbers for us tonight. Kevin? E. Yeah, Denise, it really is unfortunate that such a positive event that raised over $300,000 to help co combat drug and alcohol addiction has received so much backlash. But it wasn't a matter of if the NFL would be sending down fines to players who were in attendance and were not following the league COVID protocols. It was really a matter of when, and today we got that answer. The league's management council fined Darren Waller $30,000, while several teammates, including Derek Carr, were fined $15,000 for attending the fundraiser. While Waller wore a mask the entire time, other players and attendees did not. They were reportedly able to attend without filing a COVID-19 questionnaire or having their temperature checked. A video of a maskless car throwing footballs into the crowd circulated around social media. And today, head coach John Gruden addressed the fines. I'm well aware of that, yes. And uh, I know our players are going to handle that uh, individually. And uh, I know they, are, they regret uh, any harm they may have caused. And they're very sensitive about it. And they'll handle it the right way. And uh, I'm, again, I'm going to reiterate that I'm really proud of our players and our staff and the job that we've done in battling this virus. And it'll continue. This is at least the third COVID-19 related fine that the Raiders have received this season, with a fourth likely on its way after John, John Gruden again did not wear a mask properly on the sidelines during yesterday's matchup with the Bills. Brian.